Hands up if you've ever been put off buying a motorhome without a fixed bed because you didn't want to have to make up the bed every night. Today, I'm going to share something to make it a bit easier for you. I'm Kat from the Motorhome Travel website, Wandering Bird, where we share tips and tricks for traveling the UK and Europe by motorhome or camper. Now, one of the absolute best things, my favorite part about running a blog is the interaction and the comments and the emails and the messages that I receive from people who've watched videos or they've found my website on Google and I've helped them in some way. And a couple of weeks ago, I got this lovely email from two ladies who were replying to a comment that I made about making up the bed every night and how on our first two vans, I definitely didn't want to do that. So we absolutely needed a fixed bed because I didn't want to have to put together cushions and do all that stuff. And how on the last van, our, our current van, we actually make the bed up every night. And although it's not that bad, it's a bit of a faff. And they've got a solution that helps, and that's what they've done. They've developed a way of making it easier for them, and it's genius. And what they did, bless them, Helen and Karen, thank you so much. They put together a whole video to show me what they did and how they did it. And then they gave me a tour of their motorhome. And they sent it through. They had no thought to it being on YouTube or for me to be sharing it. They were just doing it for me to have a look around their van. And they were so lovely and so sweet. And their idea was so genius that I just, I knew that you guys would really appreciate it as well. So with their permission, I am sharing it here today. Before we get into that, a couple of housekeeping things. If you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. This is a bit of a random one. I don't normally have other people joining me, but it's a bit, bit of fun, so hi. If you like what you see, you'd like to see more motorhome tips, then by all means subscribe and hit the little bell, which will tell you when a latest video comes out. If you want to get a PDF step-by-step -step walkthrough on exactly what Helen and Karen did, Helen mainly, but you know, we'll give them both credit, um, to create the topper and, and how they did it and the sewing instructions and everything. Honestly, they put so much effort into it. I'm so grateful for them. It was lovely of them. Then they have created a PDF guide which they've given me permission to share with you. So the link to that is below in the notes. One thing they've asked, which I think is a fantastic idea, is I hadn't realised, but apparently loads of charities have been really badly hit at the moment because people aren't putting money into the boxes because obviously people aren't out in shops as much as they normally are. And of course, that was something that makes perfect sense, but I hadn't twigged until they mentioned it. So they have asked that if you do find this video helpful or you do want to download the PDF and get their walkthrough, please pop a pound or two into the next charity box that you see at a shop or supermarket or on the street, wherever you happen to be, just to spread the love a little bit further and help everyone keep going in this difficult, difficult time, which I thought was a lovely idea. And I hope that you guys can do that if you find this useful too. Right. Let me hand you over to Helen and Karen. Hi Kat, we've not done this before on film, but here goes, easy way to make a bed. When I get the camera in the right position, hold on. Wait a minute. Right, pull the top out, up to the top of the bed. You usually do this with two, but it's easy enough for one. One bed made. Duvet cover. Pillows. There you go. This is inside. This one's got studs because I hadn't found continuous zip at the time. Undo the studs and pull it out. Which is easier when you've not got a GoPro in your hand. It's tricky, but uh, I usually do this bit in the house when I'm changing them. But the beauty of that is if you're away longer, you can always just flick it over to the other side and 
Use the other side as your top sheet. And inside that is the, um, what do you call that same, thing? Same idea for the mattress topper inside. And that's the mattress topper in there. It's about an inch depth. About an inch. Yeah. And it's got the, the protector both sides. Poppers are far better than Velcro. Oh, definitely. I prefer a zip, but... Uh, and this is unmaking it. This is unmaking it. Well, whoops. Have a way of doing it. Usually Bob's helping me, but I'll do it myself as well. Job done. Now you just pull the cushions up and stick it back under the seat again. Well, this is trickier because the, the support spring burst on the other side with an almighty bang, so you took this one off and we've just used a pole. Which, there you go. And it all just goes in there as you saw in the photo. And I've got some, I'll just get them out while I'm under here. And spare sheets, etc. around there. Um, Hold on. As you can see, Dad's altered the floor so there's air flows through just to cover up the pipes and covers up all the pipes and wires and everything that's in the road down there oh, I love this one I tend to swap the, the big cushion and the wee cushion at my side because we sit with our feet up and I find it comfier. It's hot in here, it's 27 degrees. Too hot. I turn the seat back round. Dad's security device to keep the door shut. If I can turn the seat round. There we go. It's a nice motorhome this, it's like a caravan layout at the front. That's the seats. Tons of loom for feet, legs and the dog. And we sit this way. That lets you see what room there is. Plenty room. There's plenty of space for puppies too. So <laughs> she's inside. On your right. And soaking wet. There's a wee step. Never forget the wee step. Big fridge. With a freezer. This is it's in storage mode, hence all the gadgets to keep it open. A ding. Can't have a motorhome without a ding. Oh yeah, there's their TV. The TV bracket's hiding behind that. Uh, where's the up button? Loads of storage. Like you, they alter their cupboards to give plenty storage space. And then this cupboard was supposed to be big and open, but not anymore. It's been dadified. Plastic drawers. Framework was rubbish. Oven so and grill. Put shelves in. Oven and grill. Drawers. Loads of drawers. And then the bully hole at the back. Without any lights. You in there. And as Karen said, very inheritable. Aye, very inheritable. As you can see, everything gets stored in here when not in use. Any storage there. Hi. Okay. And then this bit, if I can get the door open. No, oh, wrong way. See, this is my husband's. I'm not used to using the GoPro. Plenty storage in here. The only That's issue with this is this one has little narrow drawers, but the new ones don't have the space with those seats that are there. The new ones have got long drawers, so you can't utilise that great big gap in there. But apart from that, brilliant. Loads of adaptions. As you can see, Dad's put runners in there for 
trays and all sorts. You name it, he's That's sorted like it. coffee table. This is one's based on the AutoQuest 175, but it's a Preston Motorhome Special. Oh, I'm plenty of storage in them cupboards and all. Pick a tidy one. <laughs> oh, you kidding, aren't you? As you can see, shelves have been added. Three at the other side as well. Of course, the most important thing I notice is still pretty full, which is unusual for Dad. Cheeky bit. <laughs> and that's it. Plenty of storage. Bye, cat. Bye. Aren't they lovely? Helen and Karen, thank you so, so much. I knew when I received that video and I watched it that A, you're just lovely, lovely people and thank you for all the effort that you've put into for doing this. But also I knew that it would be A, useful and B, kind of fun for everybody else to see inside the motorhome and everybody else likes having a look around and a snoop to see what everyone else is doing and how you store stuff. So if you do want to get the PDF with the step-by-step -step on exactly how they made that awesome mattress topper, then that's below. You can get it through there. Give us the email address to send it and we will send it across to you. Totally free, no charge, just a donation to charity when you find one in your next shop would be very much appreciated by everybody. Did you enjoy having a look around their motorhome? If you did, I would love to know, A, in the comments, but also if it's something that you'd like to see a little bit more of, maybe we can try and do that. With the big shows not being on this year, I'm kind of missing looking around other people's motorhomes, which actually brings me to a really good idea, possibly a good idea. It could go horribly wrong, but who knows? So if you've got a cool motorhome or you've made a modification that you think people might enjoy, or you just want people to have a look around your motorhome because it's fun and you'd like to share, then by all means, I would love a video and I will try and share as many as I can on YouTube. Now, this could be a horrendous plan, but it could also be kind of fun. So if you do want to share a little video, it doesn't have to be long, doesn't have to be professionally edited. You can just film it, try not to move the camera too much and landscape mode, not portrait, landscape not portrait, and then send it to me. I'll leave the email address here and I will try and share some so that we can all sort of have a little snoop around people's vans while the shows aren't on. Oh, and if you do try out the mattress topper and you make it, by all means, come and join our Facebook group and post some photos in there. I would absolutely love to see if it works for you and how you make it your own and all that stuff. So yeah, definitely share some of that in the group if you'd like to and let us know how you get on with it. Right, I think that's everything for me. I hope you and yours are safe and well. If you're traveling, safe trip, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.